Hi, I'm Cik Gudila and today we will learn about the atomic structure. But before that, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Next. So, the atomic structure the atomic structure can be divided by subatomic particles. So, what is the subatomic particles? Subatomic particles is an electron, proton, and also neutron. So, this is the structure of an atom. So, electron, the symbol is E negative. So, electron is the negatively charged, where the relative mass is 1 over 1840 units. That is the electron. At the middle, we can see a proton. The symbol is P positive. So, proton is a positively charged particles and the relative mass, mass is one unit. The neutron. Neutron is the neutral. The symbol is N and the relative mass is one unit. So, in sub atomic particles, we have the negative charge, positive charge, and neutral. The negative is electron, the positive is proton, and the neutral is neutron. Okay, and the neutrons also place at the middle of an atom. Electron place around the atom. But the neutron and proton place at the middle, at the center of the atomic particles. So let's see how can we write an atom. How atom be written. So we have the symbol of element. We have the nuclear number. Where the nuclear number is the total of proton number and neutron number. Put at the top and at the bottom, we have the proton number. And remember, proton number is equal to the atomic number and also equal to the number of electron in neutral atom. So, that means proton number equal to the number of electron in neutral atom. And if you have been given a question that asks you to find a neutron, so, you can find the neutron number by taking the nuclear number minus with the proton, proton number. Because nuclear number is proton plus neutron number. So, we can find the neutron by subtract the nuclear number to the proton number. So, this is an example. We have oxygen atom. It's right like this. O with 16 at the top and 8 at the bottom. So let's see. O is the symbol of element for oxygen. We have the nuclear number, which is 16. 16 is the total number for proton and also a neutron number. So for neutron number, we can calculate the neutron number by taking the nuclear number minus the proton number. So what is the proton number? It's the down one. So, proton number, atomic number, equal to the number of electron in neutral atom. So, this is the atomic structure. In atomic structure, we have at the middle is the nucleus. Remember, what is particles in the nucleus? We have the proton and also neutron. So, around the nucleus, we have a shell consists of electron. So we have shell, the first shell, second shell, third shell, and it can up into seven shell. Okay, the first shell only can fit two electrons. Second shell only can fit eight electrons. Okay, eight electrons. Okay, okay, eight electrons. Third shell can be eight electrons, but the maximum number of electrons can be fit into the third shell it can be up to 18 electron next we have an example this is the electron arrangement of aluminium atom so we can write the electron arrangement as 2 8 3 okay 2 is at the first shell we have two electrons the second shell we have 8 
electrons and at the valence shell we have three electrons so we write the electron arrangement as two eight three so at the middle we write the symbol of the atom so the last one the number three is the related to the number of valence electrons the number of the outer electrons the electrons placed at the outer shell next we have another example instead of writing the name of the element we also can write the number of proton and neutron at the nucleus since we know that the proton and neutron is at the middle at the nucleus so we write the proton number or neutron number at the nucleus next we move to isotope so what is isotope isotope is the same element with the same number of proton but what is the difference they have different number of neutron so that means proton same neutron are different so that means the number of nuclear number also will be different because the nuclear number is the total of proton and neutron remember that so as for example we have carbon we have carbon 12 carbon 13 and carbon 14 okay 12 13 14 see the number of neutron is different because the number of nucleon are different showing that the number of neutrons also different so isotope they have same chemical properties because of similar electron arrangement the number of proton is the same both all these three isotopes have the proton number of six so that means the number of electrons also six so they will have simi similar chemical properties because they have the same number of electron arrangement the number of proton is the same the number of electrons of neutral atom also the same so the chemical properties is the same but different physical properties this due to the different number of neutron okay. so let's move to the uses of isotope so isotope can be applied in several industries for example in medicine in medicine they use cobalt 60 so cobalt 60 they use in radiotherapy this one to kill cancer without surgery so it's targeting to the cancer cell and also cobalt 60 used to sterilizing surgical tools and we also have iodine iodine used to treatment of thyroid disorder in agriculture they use phosphorescent too so this one to study of the plant metabolism for nuclear we have uranium 235 235 this one is to generating electricity through nuclear power generator in engineering they use sodium 24 this is used to detect leakage in underground parts in archaeology they use carbon 14 this one to estimate the artifact of fossil age the age of a fossil we also have a lead this one to determine the age of sand and earth layer up to 80 years that's a quite long time and in industry they use hydrogen as a detector to study the sewage sewage and liquid waste okay hydrogen tree so i think that's it for the lesson today thank you for listening and enjoy studying bye